welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica and Khalil and I am so happy that you are here sitting with me and about to join in on my journey of makeup. You guys, I have one hand painted and the other one not. It's because I couldn't be bothered to paint this hand because I wanted to get to filming so I couldn't be waiting for it to dry. So anyways, you get one cute little hand and I'll tell you more about this nail polish later on in the video. It is one of my favorites. Deck of Scarlet reached out to me and asked me to film this video promoting their November palette. I love Deck of Scarlet. I work with them all the time and they're just really good people and they have a subscription program so you can pay $29.95 to get their monthly makeup subscription. It's super high quality makeup, eyeshadows, lip products, um, eyeliners, mascaras, lipsticks. I mean, it has. they have everything and they are like pretty high up there, I'd say, um, as far as quality goes. Um, they also have another portion of their brand that just came out with super, super clean makeup. So I'm gonna showcase a couple of those items too because I haven't really gotten to play with them yet. So I might as well play with it on my channel and see what you guys think. All right, so I'm just gonna speed through the foundation process Process. Um, I normally just skip this part entirely, but I thought, hey, let's just throw it in one of these videos. So I want to go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And this is in the shade 2N 1.5 Beige. Okay, right off the bat, it's totally a little too light for me. So I'm going to pop in a few drops of my MAC Face and Body Foundation. And this is in the shade C5. I absolutely love Love, love, love this foundation. And whenever I'm trying a new foundation out and it's not quite my right um, shade, this one always saves me. It just takes like a couple of drops and um, I can totally get to my shade with that. I love it. Right now I am using my Graftopian Cream Foundation Palette to paint on my cream contour and blend in that out. All right, y'all, this is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in 1N. I'm just putting a little bit on right now because I'm kind of scared. I don't know if it is just gonna completely overwhelm me whenever I blend it in. Wow, so far that is absolutely beautiful. Hey, hey, Laura Mercier. All right, let's hop into this bronzer. This is their like clean line, so like super healthy ingredients or at least ingredients that aren't gonna harm you. Their little claim here is badass formulas, good for you ingredients, which is super awesome. Let's go ahead and try the Mistake Proof Bronzer and this is in the shade Carnal or Carnal. I guess it just depends where you're from and what you want it to mean. So it says to shake the heck out of this first and then spray it on to the brush. That's cool. So I may have sprayed a little bit too much, but we're gonna just keep blending and make it work. Ay ay ay. See if I can spread it over to this side. It's almost giving me like a super light, oily finish, um, but oily is like not the right word because it's like moisturizing, glowy. Oh, I really, really like it, and it's giving off like a super airbrushed vibe. You guys, I know I look super shiny right now. I am going to powder and mattify my face. Don't worry. Okay, so that was the Mistake Proof Bronzer, and now we're going to move on to the Mistake Proof Blush. And this is in the shade Brazen. I'm only doing one squirt because I learned my lesson on the last bronzer. Ah. Oh my gosh, this color. Oh, I'm living for it. 
So I'm treating this as like a cream blush because I, I don't think this would do well over powder because it's very liquidy. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love that. Brazen, y'all. Brazen is where it's at. All right, I'm gonna set my face with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but this one is in the shade Honey. Oh my gosh. And along with my Mer Mer Laura Mercier Powder Puff, okay? That's what I'm gonna use. Boom. Okay, I don't know why I'm nervous. I hope there's not too much powder. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good so far. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is giving me life. Yeah, so I am glad. I'm sure you don't have to set this if you're like trying to live your best dewy goddess life. But um, I want to set it today. And I want it to stay, I want it to stay, because tonight me and my honey have a date. So, I want this to stay and look cute. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlighting powder under my eyes. I'm just like a banana powder. And then do my eyebrows and prime my eyelids and we'll be back and jump into this eyeshadow palette that I'm so excited to show you, you guys. And then there's like an eye jelly eye jelly that you guys are gonna just die for so I will be right back okay my eyebrows are popping and the rest of my base is pretty much done I'll save the highlighter for the very end but now I want to go in to this eyeshadow palette I am so excited it is called nightlife and nerve and it says it has bright lights bold colors and undeniable grit Packed with shades as vivid as the city itself, our underground palette pays homage to New York City and its vibrant counterculture. I am so excited, y'all. Um, I used to live in New York City. I went to college at Pace University. I don't know if you guys know where that is. It's a private university in downtown Manhattan, and I just loved living there. Um, I definitely was on a full-ride scholarship, so please don't think that I had this kind of money that I could be at a private school in New York City. Worked hard for my scholarship, um, but anyways, yeah, I lived there in New York City, and it's just it was so much fun. So anytime I see anything kind of inspired by NYC, I just get super excited, and that's why I'm excited for this a deck of scarlet palette the front of it is super cool it has like graffiti markings on it and it says get loud all over it which kind of makes me want to make like a super loud eyeshadow look these shades are absolutely stunning they're such a fun pop of blue and uh this like lime neon color which i can't wait to put on my eyes so i'll just read out the shade names downtown bottle service alphabet city counterculture griddle <laughs> griddle Glitter and Grit, Invite Only, Dive Bar, Limelight, Last Call, and Bowery. Oh my god, it's so exciting, y'all. I don't even know what kind of direction I'm going to go with with this. Um, but let's just start building in our crease and go from there. All right, I am taking my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush in JH31, and I'm going to go into Invite Only and kind of dust that all over the lid and into my crease. This is also helping me set my eyeshadow base that I put down, my eyeshadow primer. I like to use this one. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Illuminate Eyeshadow Primer and it is so good. I love it so much. It's not heavy, super like creamy and silicone-y and so it's like a really super nice base. All right, so there's just no way I can't not use this limelight color. So I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. But first, I wanna go into downtown and y'all, I still live downtown NYC. I'm telling you all of the feels I am having right now. Let's dip into downtown and brush that in the crease. And at the edge, I'm kind of lifting up on the pressure and pulling it out. And then light pressure on the inner crease as well. That is a beautiful, like, muted, taupey shade. Oh my goodness, I love it. Such a good uh, transition crease color for sure. Okay, so we're gonna do that fun trendy neon inner corner and see how it looks. 
Oh, oh my gosh. I flippin' love that. <gasps> oh gosh, you guys. Wow, it's like a huge payoff. Wow, and then I'm kind of lightly um, blending it into the lid. I kind of want to keep, oh gosh, do I want to keep the top matte? You guys, I'm stuck. I don't know if I want to do the dive bar purpley shade on the bottom or what. I'm going to go ahead and just do my long black wing and then we'll be back. All right, I got my super fun, dramatic black winged liner, and now I'm gonna like color in my eyeliner. So I'm gonna use counterculture on the outer corner. Actually, I might go the other way. No, I'm gonna do counterculture, which is like this midnight blue with this beautiful pink sparkle in it. I'm gonna kind of fill in the liner on the outer side and then go into dive bar kind of on the inner part of the liquid liner. And I think that'll create like a super cool, like, holographic not holographic y'all already know that's a huge issue like a duochrome kind of vibe liner okay now i'm dipping into dive bar which is the lighter one that is super duper cute bottom lash line i'm gonna go into glitter and grit which is this beautiful like chunky glittery um pressed eyeshadow and i'm gonna kind of tuck that in right into my lash line and then kind of bring it further in towards my pupil all right you guys i usually do so much more in my crease but i think i'm gonna go ahead and let my inner corner the limelight and the winged liner be the center of it all. So I'm gonna go pop on my eyelashes and do like a little blush topper so that it's a little bit some glowy and then come back and we'll play with some lip options. All right, the lashes are on. These fun bad boys are off Amazon. Gosh, what is the brand? I'll have to link the brand below because they're super fun and you get like 10 pairs or something for like 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, they are so much fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to their lipstick. This is the three-way solid lip oil. And they have a whole beautiful range of these um, from nudes to plums to reds. And I'm so excited to show you. So it's definitely a lip oil. So it's very sleek. It is not like a matte long wearing um, lip color at all, but it's super comfortable and beautiful. And I'm going to pop on the shade Nude Ambition, but first I'm gonna line my lip um, with the Sorme uh, Treatment Cosmetics Smear Proof Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Natural Nude 7. Um, I got this recommendation off of Jennifer Lopez's makeup artist, Scott Barnes. Um, he always talks about it, like this is the best one, so I went on to Amazon and I ordered one and I'm so excited. Yes, I love to overline my lips. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh, so it has like a little clicky guy, which is like so much fun. Click, 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 click. There it goes. Wow, it is so beautiful. Okay, so it says swipe a single layer onto bare lips for a medium coverage color or lay it on thick for more of an intense finish. That was the one swipe. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so beautiful. Wow. <gasps> wow, I really love it. That was so easy. Like, I even feel like a lip gloss is harder to do than that. What? It doesn't smell like much. It is so like smooth and silky and buttery on your lips. Wow. I love it. Let's, for funsies, um, layer it on like super thick just to see what happens. Oh my goodness. Ah! 
I absolutely love this deck of scarlet y'all hit it out of the park this shade is nude ambition I definitely recommend that one um, I have a couple other shades that I'm gonna pop on I'm just and insert it into the video so that you guys can see other shades but you guys, this one's in the shade Bordeaux baby You guys, I am living for it. The eyeshadow, um, the way we did the liner, super fun. Um, the Mistake Proof bronzer and the blush and this awesome three-way um, solid, solid lip oil. It is so good. You guys, Deck of Scarlet, you are so awesome. Thank you for sponsoring this video. This was so much fun. Thank you for getting my booty back in the makeup chair. You guys, I was so busy for Halloween. I had so many clients, like the most clients I ever had. So I was super pumped to be busy and do some super creative looks. And honestly, like I had so many clients that I had to just like be super confident and fast and get it done. And I was like pretty proud of the looks I did. So I'm hoping that I can continue to do more for you guys. And I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot this. Ah, the Dick of Scarlet Glow Crazy Illuminating Jelly. <sighs> okay, so I'm dipping like the tiniest bit on my finger. Kind of patting it off a little bit because I don't know how intense this is going to be. You guys, I know this hand is bugging you. It's bugging me too. <laughs> okay, so that is like a super like sheer layer of it. Let's build it up a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you guys, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. You guys, that is stunning. Oh, I can see this going just on the eyelid. If like you were going for that super, 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 super dewy vibe. All right, cutie cuties, this is it. This is my total deck of Scarlet look. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I had so much fun filming it for you. I loved to layer on um, that illuminating jelly at the end. I hope I'm saying that right. Like here, I'm trying to be all fancy schmancy with it. Oh, should it be like jelly, Jessica? Come on, get it together. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my nail polish that I also love. This is in the shade Coco. Y'all, I want to do a quick shout out to Live Love Nail Polish. These nail polishes are super fun and they are actually made of like super great formula and it's like that nine free, like none of those harsh chemicals that are in like normal mainstream nail polishes. So I wanted to tag this into this video because we have some clean makeup and why not have some clean nail polish too. And this one is called Coco. Absolutely love it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope I get to see you in my next video and I should have two hands painted. Thank you, Dick of Scarlet. Make sure to check me out on all of my social media channels and also my little baby girl, my 20 month old baby girl, Rio, has her own Instagram so you can check hers out too. She's at Rio Miliana so you can check that out. I love you guys. Have so much fun. Um, be safe. Right now is crazy times. I'm not even gonna get into it. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys in the next Love video. Bye.